Hey, Eduardo. Hey, Raúl. How are we doing? How are you doing? Good, good. <laughs> hey, the new FH batteries. I know that we're getting an awful lot of questions from, the, from customers and they're talking about, you know, why are we choosing the NFA batteries? Mm -hmm. You know, and I know that we've always talked about, you know, the record system, the technology, the reliability, but can we get a little bit deeper with the customers, you know, to, to give them a little more information? Sure. Yeah, I had a customer today ask me the question, you know, it says, hey, what, what makes a difference in the technology of the NFA? Like, what makes it better? Okay, so we can start with the ecosystem. For example, NFA has one of the best ecosystem out there. And when we talk ecosystem, we're talking about how everything works with each other, how cohesive it is. Exactly. So when only one manufacturer, you have microinverters on the roof, you have batteries, you have the system controller and all the components, including software that makes the system works. You don't need to be having multiple manufacturers in one installation. Absolutely, because I've heard of the nightmares, uh, for example, with some of the other battery systems, where the inverter is made by one company, the, the, uh, the panel, the centralized inverter is made by a different company, the battery is made by a third company, yep. and when something goes wrong, it's really hard to tell who's doing what. Yeah, yeah, only what. one need to show, you know? <laughs> so it's, it's better to have only one warranty. So everything is under the same warranty. And also helps the customer with, it, with uh, um, following up because it's much easier to, if something goes wrong, it's just the one company to, to deal with. Yep, yep, so that's number one. Um, the best ecosystem. Then we can talk about technology. Like Enphase has great, great, awesome technology. This is the third generation of these batteries, isn't it? Yeah. So Enphase started with the uh, Enphase battery 10 and 3. Um, then it changed to 10T. And now we have the third version, like you said, where you have the Enphase battery 5P. Wow. So in a very short period of time, they have kept developing and, and bettering and, and improving safety-wise. So Everybody's so concerned with safety. That, that's one of the main, that's what I, I like most about Enphase, the chemistry that it has. So it has an a, um, iron-based uh, chemistry, NFP, instead of um, NMC, like other manufacturers. So that makes it so, um, so safe, so it doesn't have that, thermal runaway in case there is a fire, which never happens. But if let's say there is a fire or something, emphasis is less likely to have a thermal runaway. I understand that the emphasis cooling system is passive. It's a passive, so yeah. It's not a mechanical. Not a mechanical. It's not a liquid cooling system like, like for example, the power wall from Tesla that has a more complex uh, cooling system. So it's less things that can go wrong. Yeah, so sometimes uh, homeowners say, say that, why Enphase occupy more space on the wall? And what I usually tell them is, um, you have to look at the uh, cooling system. Uh, because it's a safer technology, it needs more area, more space, more volume to cool off that, those, those modules, those batteries. So unlike some of the competitors where you can stack them on top of each other, also creating a much higher risk factor. Yes. These ones are apart from each other, allowing for natural cooling. Exactly, yeah, so that's one of the main reasons. Then you have power and energy density. So Enphase has a very high energy density, but even better, has a, a, one of the highest uh, energy uh, dense power battery modules. So that means that per kilowatt hour, you have the highest kilowatts of power. So if a homeowner is looking to really draw a lot of power, they have higher consumption and or individual loads that use more power, this will be a better choice for them. Yeah, so the, the three main loads that I always say is uh, central AC units. You have the water heaters, especially if it is a tankless water heater. And then you have pumps like pool pump, well pumps, etc. Those are the, the three main um, sources of, of consumption loads. And the, and the Enphase batteries can run those uh, loads? Of course, if, this, if you design the system properly, like you have enough batteries, you can absolutely have, like just think that only five kilowatt hours of battery has 7.6 kilowatts of power for three seconds. So that literally, if you scale it up to 25 kilowatts system or 20 kilowatt hour system, which is typical for a residential installation, you can literally have power for all the, all the appliances, all the loads. So you're telling me 
that I can literally put enough batteries in my house today that I don't have to change my lifestyle and I can power up all, all the loads in my house? Uh, yes. If you size the system properly, you, you won't notice the difference. So a lot of companies offer that. A lot of companies promise that. I mean, we've seen you know, the general power cell. We've seen the solar edge batteries come out to the market. We've seen, uh, I believe, Panasonic has come out with batteries onto the market. Uh, uh, you name it. There are, there are so many coming into the market today. Why does Enphase stand out? One of the things that I always tell the customers are, is why do you want to have a more dangerous system in your, in your house? Like you want the safest system possible, right? So Enphase has a AC topology. That means that um, everything is in 240 volts. So that means that the output for your batteries is in 240 volts. The output from the solar microinverters on the roof is 240 volts. So it's a safer um, voltage, safer um, Absolutely. Uh, electricity voltage. So if you compare that to other manufacturers that are still are using high voltage uh, DC uh, batteries, that's a I rather not have that high voltage in my house. Absolutely. Especially Absolutely. if you have, a, for example, a string inverters that you bring, I don't know, 600 volts from the roof, or if you have high voltage batteries that you have 500, 500 volts on the batteries, those, if there is an arc or if there is a fault in those um, cables, on those connections, the damage is going to be much higher. So that's number one, safety. safety. Uh, number two is scalability, so flexibility in my system. Enphase, because it's a modular uh, ecosystem, you can add as you need to. You don't have to have big chunks, like big blocks. The building blocks are much smaller. So we're talking about five kilowatt hour building blocks. So it, it can accommodate more uh, to your needs. So you're saying that I can start, for example, with a five uh, kW battery, and if I decide that I need more, I can add another five, another five. You and can kind of scale all the way to 80 kilowatt hours. So which is basically like nobody uses that. I know a lot of manufacturers are like 15 kW and then another 15. So. <laughs> that, that's one thing that you need to always look at when you are uh, buying, shopping for a battery. Look at how scalable is going to be your system. So maybe today you only need 20 kilowatt hours, but who knows, maybe three years down the line, you might need 30, 40, 60. I know in my house, when we first did solar 10 years ago, uh, my consumption was much lower. Over the years, as we added more ele electric cars and other things to the, to the mix, I needed more, you know, uh, and I was able to add more microinverters and more panels to my roof time. Yep. So you're saying we can do the same thing with the batteries. Yep. We can scale it up to the customer's needs. Yep. That sounds like a much better value. I, I, I love that. I love that. That's why I love Enphase because you start very slow, it's very small system. You don't really need to worry too much about, oh, is my system exactly what I need to right now? Maybe you start with 25 and, oh, I just need a little bit more. Just add another five. So you I, need to be in big, big building blocks. Right. And I've heard that Enphase has even started opening up their own plants in the United States. So they're having U.S. manufacturing now. Yeah. Yes, that's, 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 that's awesome. That's awesome. Having local manufacturers. As, 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 as a homeowner, I would think that it'd be much easier to deal with the warranty issue with a company that actually has U.S. manufacturing Compared than with a to, company that has to take, you know, send it overseas to yeah, get repaired. Yeah, yeah. Or, you know, which, which, uh, with this ecosystem that we're talking about before, especially everything being under one umbrella, it must also be easy for the monitoring. Yeah. So uh, Enphase has, in my opinion, the best uh, software and monitoring system that there is. You can see module uh, level uh, information that you cannot see anywhere else. And does that extend to the battery also? Two, you can see module level um, um, parameters and characteristics for every single module within the battery itself. And as we extend now into the future and we look at the, the newer technology coming, I understand Enphase is also going into the EV charging market. Yeah, so we, we uh, Enphase presented in the last conference call the new charger that they're working on, uh, which is going to be um, vehicle to home and vehicle to grid um, capabilities. So that's going to allow uh, your car to be also part of the Enphase ecosystem, Enphase energy system. 
So that means that you can use your car as uh, another battery. You can use it the same way you're using these uh, new 5P batteries. So you can plug in your car and you can use the energy stored in the car to charge your batteries or to charge your uh, supply the loads in your house and also use the excess solar to charge your car, charge your batteries. And when you are in an outage, you plug in your car and you have the extra energy from those batteries in your car. Generac has been very strong lately. Uh, they have a system called the power cell. Um, and the power cell is one of the things that um, people recognize the brand and they really you know, have adapted to, to, the, to the system based on the Generac generators from the, from the past. Uh, and I commend Generac for making the switch to future technology because this is the future. This is the, 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 the future of the homes. Yet I don't feel that their batteries can measure up to the M-Phase battery you know, starting with the DC based system to the to the AC based system, what do you feel? That, that's the first thing that you, you need to think that Generac is using a a an inverter that is going to not only going to be used for the solar panels on the roof with their uh, optimizers, but also that inverter is going to be used for the battery uh, energy conversion. So you have your uh, DC batteries that you can scale it up, I believe, to 40 kilowatt hours. Um, and that battery is connected to the same inverter that is connected to your optimizers. So you have one point of uh, failure. I don't like that. I like modularity. Um, and also, if you want to scale up your system, you have to add another inverter to add more batteries. So let's say that like, it's not as flexible. It's not 80 kilowatt hours. Um, and you are limited to the power of that inverter. Uh, if you compare that to M-Phase, you have a AC bus that you have the battery input and the solar microinverters input, and everything is added up on that AC bus. So what you're saying is with a power cell, I'm basically locked into the energy of the inverter. The power of the inverter, Whatever, yes. Whatever size inverter I have, 7.6, 10, whatever, it's, I'm, I'm locked to that power of the inverter. While with the M-Phase, not only do I have the power of the batteries, but I also have the power of the solar panels. Of the solar panels, yeah. So, so batteries has an inverter. In case of a generac, the batteries itself does, does not have an inverter. So that means that batteries are not going to produce. So it sounds to me, as far as value is concerned, from a homeowner perspective, I will have a much better value with the M-Phase system because not only do I have the power of the batteries, but I also maintain the production of the panels adding additional power to my house. Yep. It sounds like I can run longer with an M-Phase system because the production of those panels is additional to the battery. It's additional. That that's, that's something that people don't understand. With M-Phase, you, you, you add up the batteries and the solar at the same time in the same bus. So if you have, I don't know, 10 kilowatts of solar in the roof, you might add more batteries and increase the power of your, of your system. So you might run more loads simultaneously if you add more batteries. That doesn't happen on the Generac or any other like solar edge system. Mm -hmm. Like anything that has a single point inverter that where you have to take the batteries and solar through it to have an output uh, is not going to be as scalable. You can add more batteries, you're going to have more runtime, but the power doesn't increase. In M-Phase, you can add more batteries and you have more power in an off-grid situation. So when I add more batteries with an M-Phase system, I'm adding more amount of power, meaning that I can run more loads mm -hmm. and I'm adding more time. More time. When, I'm add, when I add another battery, for example, to the power cell, the solar edge, you know, the LG cam, when I add another battery, I'm only adding time. I'm not adding more power. Only time. So yep. if I have a... Uh, and this, this makes loose, uh, loose terms here. I have an air conditioner that needs, and I used to say, 40 amps. With M phase, I can add power to get to the 40 amps. With the other batteries, I can add more running time, but I can never run that AC because the, the power won't be there. Exactly. It, it would seem such a simple concept that everybody would come to the technology of the M phase. <laughs> People don't understand how, how high the M phase ecosystem, how better the the emphasis ecosystem is when you look at 
how mod modular the system is. So you can just add more and you're going to get more, not only energy, but also power. People don't understand that. Well, I think one of the beautiful things about the MPEG system is how uh, much um, time they've taken to listen to the consumers. MPEG has always been known as a company that basically are bringing out the products based on the customer needs. Um, I know that I personally have had a lot of conversations with their engineers and you know with their company and I've always felt like they have an ear listening to what, what we're saying. They're always listening to what are our needs and then two or three months on the line I see the products. Yeah, I love how Enphase listen to our, our, our needs and complaints and, and this new battery is an example of that. We have been complaining about the, the communication um, uh, system, the Zigbee communication for a long time. We have noticed that in previous version you need to follow a very strict design uh, requirement. You have to have all the components close, very close to each other in order to communicate uh, properly. Uh, but in this new system, you can literally have batteries on the opposite side of the house and the other side of the house and have components distributed throughout the house and you're still gonna have the communication. And this is the direct result of listening to the needs of the market and adjusting to them. Yep. So to wrap things up, I, th I think what we're saying here is that m phase battery systems are uh, probably the best choice on the market today based on the ecosystem, everything being built by one manufacturer, everything being put together by one manufacturer. If you have any kind of issue, you're only dealing with one company rather than trying to deal with three or four different companies. Uh, I think there's no worse experience than companies blaming each other. Definitely. Oh, it's, it's, this, it's, it's a fault of the inverter. Oh, it's a fault of the battery. Oh, it's a fault of... Yeah. The, the, the you know the disconnect it's my favorite everything on everything on the one umbrella makes it much easier mm -hmm. the customer service experience has got to be much easier the technology itself i think we're looking at this is the third generation like we mentioned and we're looking at you know a, a constant development of better improvement